Good afternoon, lace jumper and Aunt John. This is many a truder to welcome to Resident Evil 4. And uh, this game's got me in a funny old place because uh, Resident Evil 4, the original I mean, is one of my favourite games of all time. Love this game, and that's not just nostalgia talking. I've played it recently, okay? It holds up really nicely. Which means I can't help but be a tiny bit cautious about the idea of remaking it because uh, that's what this is. This is not just a remaster to tidy up the textures or whatnot. This is a full on reimagining of what Resident Evil 4 is. But on the other hand, I think the Resident Evil franchise is in a really good place at the moment. Village was brilliant. The remake of Resident Evil 2 loved that thing. So. I have no idea how I'm gonna feel about this. Let's dive in and find out together. September 30th, 1998. It's a day I'll never forget. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out, thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Somehow I made it out, but too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked, later, to join a top-secret government program. Not that I had a choice. The training. Punishing missions. Nearly killed me. But at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night. The pain. Even for a second. This time, it can be different. It has to. So tell me, Yankee, why did you come to this horrible place? As close to nowhere that I've ever seen. Let's just say, looking for someone. This is it. Nature calls, huh? I'll be right back. Yeah. Qué frío. ¿Te has bebido el bar entero? <laughs> you smoke? He sure is taking his time. Did he fall in? Maybe you better go and take a look. Oh, watch the car. Wouldn't want to get a parking ticket. So much for helping me. Okay, can confirm. Change number one. They've made it cocking creepier. Okay, just keep on a keeping on straight underneath this and... Okay, bloody hell, this guy's had a bit of an upgrade. He was living in like, you know, a two-room shack in the original game. Now he's got a cocking mansion. Also in the years between, yes, the original and now, Leona has learned something about property law. Because, um, yes, at this point I don't have my weapons or my knife, so I can't just break all the barrels uh, to get all the goodies inside. If this were the original Resident Evil 4, I would have already broken and stolen all this guy's stuff. So, okay, into the, you know, much larger, much creepier house, just... Crack her open and don't get too worried. It's actually good I don't have my weapons. It means no one's going to attack me. And hello, Saxe. We've got ourselves. Crude charm. Judgment is nigh. Okay, apparently Leon speaks fluent Spanish. Good for him, because I would not have known that. Right, just mosey on through. Just need to locate the guy and... Yeah, he's done some serious extension to this property since the last time we were here. Just, it's all going to be fine. I do not have a key. Right, there's a key now, Lanty flipping da. Keep on keeping on. Hey there, buddy. Who's here? And would you by any chance like to, you know, just say hi? Uh, 
sorry to barge in like this. Oh my goodness, Leona has actually learned Spanish for the remake. That's marvelous. Okay, so it didn't take long for this to all go to hell. Got it. There's the key. Lovely. This is now officially the Hunter's Lodge. Marvellous. Right, I've now got my... Right, I've now got my weapons and whatnot. Beautiful. Begin operation. Smash all the... Smash all the... Smash all the... Okay, those barrels you don't smash anymore. It used to be barrels you smash. Now it's not. Cocking hell. Right, there's now a creepy basement. This, this was not in the original. They've, they've ramped up, you know, the creepiness by a factor of many, as it turns out. It's all going to be fine. Everything's going to be a-okay. Not for that person. That person's in trouble. But it's all going to be fine for me. Just a mouse. Just a mouse. Everything's absolutely fine. Just, you know, find some loot, find some bullets. Hey! Okay, stuff's about to get uh, real, I what suspect, Hans. Alright, just be ready. It's Resident Evil 4. Remember your basics. One in the head, big drop kick. He's already done the... Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, don't mind me. Don't mind... Don't mind... Oh, the rules appear to have changed. The rules appear to have changed. Right, knife in the head. Screw you, buddy. Just a few more head shots and... Down you go. Okay. I swear I hit him in the head, uh, but he didn't stagger. Leon, did you bring ten bullets with you? Well, that's cocking useless. Keep on keeping on. Stuff's definitely going... Maybe just, you know, stay down. Don't get spotted. Everything's going to be fine, probably. Okay, I think they've gone that way. But there's a new room over... Aha! Upstairs. So, okay, this house is... Seriously, this house is like... Four times the size as it used to be. This guy has done some lovely work, you know, just extending off the side, digging down into a basement. Must have cost him a bloody fortune, but you can't deny he has got the square footage out of this. Like, he is going to significantly have increased the value of this property. Bruce, this is Condor One. Hunnigan here, what's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Need a location on a nearby lake. She may have been taken there. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are... Gotta go. Talk later. I'll let myself out. Okay, Leon's still got dumb cheesy one-liners. Resident Evil 4 is safe. Everything's under control. Keep on keeping on. Be ready for- Oh! This isn't my first time playing Resident Evil 4. Give me a grenade, you bastards! Well, he gave me something. Better be a grenade. Alright, if you see a bird uh, sitting on top of just money, as it turns out. Well, that's nowhere near as good, gosh darn it. Okay, seriously, buddy. 
Buddy, 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 buddy. I need myself a... There we go! Right! Now the barrels need to be marked in, uh, yes, yellow. Now this use, uh, that doesn't use, uh, yes, my knife condition. That's only if I actually, you know, attack something. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Oh, there she is. The greatest infantry management system in all of gaming. It's the cocking suitcase. Right. Just, uh, no, no, no. Pop you down over here, buddy. Right, healing top right, knife down in a bottom right, guns are over on the left, guns each on their own row. When we get the shotgun, that will go here. Lovely. Okay, we do, however, have, well, one new addition of gunpowder, so okay, we're dealing with uh, ammo crafting. Oh, this is going to cause problems. Where's the gunpowder supposed to go? Like, in Resident Evil 4, I've got a strong idea as to how my briefcase ought to be organised. Knife goes at the bottom, because it is, you know, a weapon, technically, and crafting materials now go bottom right. Oh, I don't like it, but you know what? We'll figure it out as we go. It's all going to be fine. Just keep on keeping on. Just get ready for the inevitable, yes, nightmare, because, uh, I mean, it wouldn't be Resident Evil 4 if you didn't die in the village uh, the first time you went there, though... <coughs> Speaking of which, seriously, I'm on the lookout for a crow sitting on top of a, a signpost. If we see a crow on a signpost, that means uh, you cocking shoot it. Oh, I hear ya. And I see a bloody pitchfork too. Okay, they're trying to hide, uh, like, in an incredibly bad, incompetent way. I feel like this is supposed to be an ambush, but... Once in the head. Okay, is that a good stagger? Oh, yeah, that was supposed to be an ambush, I think. But it is not an ambush and just... Be ready for hello over there. You plan to shoot something at me or maybe charge at me. And okay, 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 everything's fine. There's a bit of sway on the old weapons, isn't there? No. And now, okay, we can still do that. Lovely. No. And now get into melee. And then go, go, stab ya. You dead, buddy? Anyone else around? Okay, now that's more flipping like it. Right, the classic Resident Evils, uh, they do work. All you need to do is just... Also, there was a trap there. Kind of missed that, but look, I didn't walk into it, so it's all going to be fine. Right, once in the head, kick him over. That still works. That guy down the basement, his head just didn't work right, because it was, you know, at a bit of a jaunty angle. Also, I just watched... Okay, yep, yep, there's definitely... Okay, there are bear traps. Just... Oh, he's open. There are... Oh, bloody hell. This is... This is not going to go well for me. Still, apparently they don't hurt very much, so that's good too. Just... Be aware, alert, and... I'm aware of you. No! No, 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 no. None of that. None of that. None of that. Can I stab you when you're down? That does not seem to... Okay, that doesn't use up my knife condition. Knife condition is only used up by the Luxie of it for, yes, getting people who are attacking you off your back. Oh, and this is terrifying. There's an auto-sort button in my case. Okay, I'm going to regret this, but... Oh, no! 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 How cocky dare you? Zero out of ten. Worst game I've played this year. Okay, I've decided I'm going for this for now. This is going to be fine. Right, keep on keeping on. And uh, as we've just, you know, passed through a, a couple of gates, I strongly suspect. Oh, here we cocky go. Right, so. So, so, so. For those of you who don't know Resident Evil 4, yes, my good friend over there has unfortunately been a, a little bit, um, yes, Tied up to a thing, set on fire, murdered, etc, etc. So, um, yes, we can't really rescue him. Instead, we now need to hold out to this giant, massive village. Okay, the layout looks about the same as it ever did. In particular, yeah, there's a barn. There's one a house with not much going on. That's where you get the shotgun, but going into the building might also activate Mr. Chainsaw Man. Yes, I like this building, if it still as it ever was, which is, uh, this building's like a, um, a holdout building. One door here, one door here, at least this is how it used to be. Then you could just sort of, uh, hold out in this room, and then just murder everyone as they came through the door. Like, as long as you had enough shotgun ammo, and enough grenades, uh, you could do just fine. Though, I've only got a flash grenade, not a proper one, so that maybe won't work so well. Oh, they've just set the chappy on fire too. Okay, that's, that's maybe a bit of a problem. Okay. I do have more sneaking these days, so I could sneak round to, yeah, the right or to the left. I mean, no reason not to, you know, try and pick up maybe a, a little bit of stuff before everything goes to hell. There's a greener herb right there. No one spotted me just yet. Okay, this all seems to be... Yeah, this is fine. 
This is fine. We're going to sneak Resident Evil 4, damn it. I think I see you. I see someone over there. Ignore everybody. If I can just get straight to shotgun house. Just get in. Get the shotgun. Get back out again. Okay, what do we have here? Sneak attack. That uses up a tiny bit of knife condition. Okay. Next up. Does anyone live in this house? I feel like that was not that subtle, but, um... I mean, I'm hearing some people, you know, yell, but they were kind of yelling anyway. So, honestly, I'm not sure whether they're, like, you know, too annoyed at me at the moment. It, it, it's hard to say. Oh, never mind. We've got, we've got trouble. Okay, everything's, everything's... Nothing's fine, nothing's fine. Stab, 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 stab. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get 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 I've been okay, this has all gone to hell immediately. I was just trying to get out the window. Okay, time to start cocking running. Time to start cocking running. Right. Well we know what to do now. We know what we're doing now. Straight over to yes, the shotgun house. Because basically screw it ow! Good shot. Right, in. Now we're just going to just slowly deal with this. There should be a shotgun upstairs. But going into this house might just have, um, yes, activated uh, my worst enemy. So give it just a second. There he bloody comes. Uh, good morning, Doctor. Okay, here's what we do. We're going to pretend we're playing the old Resident Evil. And then we're just going to grab uh, Velvet. was kind of hoping for ammo, but what can you do? Everything is going to be... Don't worry about it. It's all fine. Everything's going to be... There we go, much better. And just help myself to this hand grenade. Okay, now, now life is good. Now life is cocky good. Just quickly knock that down. That's all absolutely fine. Help myself to shotgun shells. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make it over to my holdout room. And I'm going to see if maybe that works. So basically, screw you. Just run, run, run in here. All right. Just don't even worry about anything right. Oh, hello. Hi. Sorry. Don't mind me. And now we're just going to activate shotgun mode. This used to be a heavier door. Okay. Might be a heavier door. Just reload. Everything's... Oh, there's a window. This room did not used to have a window. Okay. Everything's gone to hell. It's all gone to... that. Okay. That room is... The... Right. They saw me coming. They knew that that was my plan. Everything's going to be fine. Lead them into a nice tight area. Oh, cock me. They're refusing to... They're refusing to cooperate. No. No. Oh, he's not even bloody hell. Okay, straight past you. Straight past. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Right, I'm out of, um, I'm out of everything, by the way. Okay, this is going to be absolutely... No. No. Cock. Everything's fine. Just excuse me. Just, 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 uh, moseying on through. Okay, this is going to be fine. Just, uh, just get that. Okay, you know what? Hand grenade. This I, I'm fine with. Just knock them back. Wait. Wait for a few of them to gather at the window. No, no. Okay. This. This is where we start going. John, you really did not use that ammo efficiently, did you? Okay. This is all going to be fine. And about there. Okay. And now we just come over to here. And we just wait for... No, no, no. Number number two. If you'd be so kind. It's, it's fine. There's, there's a little bit of panicking going on. But honestly... Cock! This is a bad time to have been bad! <laughs> you know what? The chainsaw guy doesn't even deserve the credit. It was the guy who just came up behind me and just grabbed me before I could toss the grenade. Alright, he's the one that deserves the credit, alright? He was the real hero. To my mind, the key, the big step one is, yeah, we do need to take out Chainsaw Man. He needs to go down, because once he's down, yeah, he can basically one-shot me if I'm not doing, like, you know... A knife defend McJibble. So that needs to be, you know, uh, taken care of, ideally. So, uh, okay, step one was fine. Step one was A-OK. -okay. Ignore the screaming Spanish police officer. I'm sure he's fine. We'll get to him later. Just sneak around the outside. Count myself to, you know, a nice free kill back here. But yeah, the area is a little bit more open than it used to be. So it's going to be a bit harder to just, you know, stay hidden and whatnot. Right, just mosey on up. Can I get up to the edge of the... Okay, I feel like you can't get up to the edge of the village, but I'll tell you what we can do. Screw it. Straight into 
shotgun house. Okay, seriously, I want the shotgun, I want the grenade. Just remember to actually bother, you know, locking up the windows, etc. Slow them down a bit. Push the bookshelves in the way, etc, etc. So there's the good doctor. Coming in with his chainsaw. We need to figure out how tough he is. Like, how many shotguns does it take in the head to stop you? So, okay. Fortify the building, John. Fortify the building. Step one. Just hold. No, seriously, hold. Yeah, just that in the way. It's not going to hold him for long, but it's going to... Didn't hold them for long at all. I think he's already in. Okay, this was, this was I think, uh, no, no, he, he's opening it. But it's going to take him a moment to do. So that's, that's all absolutely fine. Grab that. Just grab that as well. If he's coming upstairs, make sure you don't do anything. Buddy, come us up to that. I mean, this is important. You've got to start off with this right here. So, okay. Can I get him as he comes up the stairs? And, well, one. One. Two. I tell you what. I'll take that as a starting point. He's he's just glitching in a corner. I'll take this as a massive cocking win right here. Okay, just prepare and flash. Okay, that does something at the bare minimum. I'm going to put a grenade over there as well. And then I'm just going to, yeah, put that in. Is he dead by any chance? He's still not dead. But he's got to be close, right? Bloody hell, he's he's still he's still going. He's still he's still stuck in a corner. Honestly, I'll take it. He's Okay, possibly this game might be a little bit more buggy than the original. I've been Okay, this would be a really bad moment for him to figure out how to No, he's still just shot. Okay, I'm starting to feel sorry for the uh, you know, this guy at this point, which is, you know, unusual, but Screw you. Can I get the kick in? Well, this has all gone horribly wrong. Right. Don't mind me. Just, you know, just quick reload. Please, quick reload. Quick reload. Quick reload. Quick reload. Quick reload. Quick reload. Quick, 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 Double kick. How many more? Uh-oh. Time to go. But, bye, but. I can't get out because the ladder's in the way. There we go. Excellent. Don't, lads, don't. They're trying to push me too. Well, this is. Stab. Everybody out of my way. Okay. The chainsaw lad is. It's tough. He's tough as it turns out. Hello, don't mind. I like how these people just didn't realise anything was going on till right now, which is marvellous. Uh, reload. Probably worth doing a health item at this point. This is going okay. This is going fine, and we could completely out of shotgun ammo. Okay, I've got pistol. I've got one grenade, and... No. Kick. Kick! And that works. It kind of works on him. No, no. Okay, this is... This is, this is, this is, this is... Five, five, John. You can stagger that guy. One more grenade for him. Go. Now let's get the flip out of... Bloody hell, is he dead now? I think he's dead. We've got him. We've got him. We've got him. Okay, he is dead. We've taken out Captain Chainsaw. The trick is now going to be getting the cock out of this building. Because cause problems. Uh, I've got plenty of handgun ammo. No, no. Oh, you... What the cock? Seriously, get out of here. I shot... Okay, shots in the head are not guaranteed anything anymore. It's time to fall back to this. Seriously, okay, just, 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 just. Back upstairs, back upstairs. Just help myself to all of this. This is going, you know, well, for a limited uh, volume of well. Up onto this. Not, I did not mean to drop down. Can I climb back up again? All I need to do is hold out long enough and just put one shot over to you. More coming in. This is fine. Just get over to here. Just more. 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 Back off. And no. No, seriously. I need you to stagger, please. Stagger. They come in behind me somehow or another. They might be... I am almost out of... Oh, when the heads pop off, you can't stagger them anymore. Oh, that's good. That's great. I appreciate that. That's good. Right, get over to you. And stagger kick. Okay. At least I've got some ammo. Now. Oh, cock me. No, boy. Okay, this is... This is nastier. This is nastier than it was. It's time to... No! No, 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 no. Don't you flipping... No, I refuse. I absolutely do not accept this. Get past you. Get past you. Thank God, La Campana. La Campana. I'll give you the faith. Él nos invoca. Is he going to say the line? 
This is absolutely critical. I like his dumb, confused face. That's excellent. Where's everyone going? Bingo. 10 out of 10 game of the year. And now we've got a lovely empty village. A lovely empty village filled with chicken eggs, which I swear were not here a moment ago. Bruce to Condor 1. I've identified a route to the lake. Look for a large windmill. There's a path on the far side of it. Windmill. Copy that. And be careful. Bruce out. I enjoy how I've technically not at any point mentioned to Hunnigunda Tabe. Yes, my escort is dead, and also everyone went bananas and tried to murder me. Like, I sort of started telling her that, but then I got distracted. Okay, end result of my haul is, yeah, we've got a fair bit of handgunner ammo, plenty of uh, healing items, a little bit of gunpowder, but no way to convert it into anything just yet, and uh, no shotgun shells whatsoever. Together with a handful of uh, treasures, so, okay. Back in Resident Evil 4, you always used to combine stuff to make it more valuable. So, uh, yeah, ruby is uh, three grand, uh, emerald is uh, five, uh, but this necklace clearly has uh, some slots in it. So just inlay all of uh, this. So, yeah, what well, would have been worth 19,000 individually, I get a 10% bonus because it's been uh, put together. And I'm guessing a, yes, complete necklace is going to be a bit of a boost beyond that. Gotcha. Oh, cock me, there's an entire system now. So, okay, life is going to be complicated. We need to think about what goes where. Everything else can't access just yet, so in which case... Right, keep on keeping on. And hang on, what's supposed to be after this? The smaller... Is it the small farm building after this point? Or maybe... Well, okay, John, don't even make assumptions. Just... Oh! That looks like the small farm building to me. Okay, so my knowledge is uh, not letting me down so far. I can vaguely predict what might be about to happen. No reason not to, you know, try and get the odd stealth kill if you might be able to. Yeah. Building with two floors, a barn here, open area over there. May as well just hop the fence, Leon. Can you hop the fence without making a noise? Mr. Chicken, don't you betray me. Don't you betray me. There we go. Lovely. Hang about. I see a blue dangling thing. Right. That was a little semi-optional challenge in the original. We'll get to them once the area is actually, you know, clear. Not before. There we go. Number two. Okay. Stealth wasn't really a thing in the original Resi. But yeah, now you can sort of begin each area by at least getting a a handful of stealth kills. Possibly if you know this game really well, you can actually get a decent number of kills per area. That's a good addition, actually. That's lovely. So, okay, just... Eyes open. Crack you open, please, and... No good. Locked up. No problemo. Don't go inside just chat. There's... Oh, blimey. Well, that's new and also fancy. You didn't used to be here. Right, insert some form of insignia key. And we get ourselves uh, something. Fascinating stuff. So, okay. I said there's no way in but through the front door. So, all right, lads. Let's have a nice chat. Me and Joe just kick open the... I was planning to just kick open the door. But it has been nailed shut. That's true. Oh, I see him. I see someone and... Oh, blimey. Okay, chill out. Chill the co... Uh-oh, we didn't get the... No, no. Kick. Then stab... Get out of the way, Mr. Chicken. I'm so sorry. I do not want you to be collateral damage in my war against these villagers. Okay, just chill out, Mr. Chicken. Do not... Did you just take their side? Unforgivable. And hello, sexy. A bag of blue resources just around the corner. Right, now I can make some shotgun ammo. Okay, I'm not hearing any more trouble, but a lot of this is definitely new. Like, you know, a side door leading into... Right, this is... This is brand new right here. Okay, just... Step one, before anyone else shows up, you know, reinforcements or whatnot. Someone get rid of the medallions. There's only five. I will give you some, you know, treasure. All right. That I can do. I've already seen a handful. It's only handgun ammo and whatnot. Lovely. So, okay. Number one and number two was in the barn. 
Right, number three, right round the back of the first house here. Also, I'm so glad they kept this in. The yes, if you just hang around in an area with chickens in it, you can fill up your entire bloody briefcase with nothing but eggs if that's what you want to do. Right, round the back of the shrine, I can see number four. Don't know where five is, though. It could just be like, well, it could be inside the house. So, okay, I suspect we're going up the windmill to loop inside the house. So, uh, Okay, brand new section, and let's flip and go. In we go, just... And we could just, you know, go under this. That way, if I get followed, the stupid zombies will be the next, and... If I press A right now, what happens? Leon, please apply common sense. Okay, good job! And even more critically, yes, the old yellow herb. So mix that with anything, my max health meter goes up. Lovely. Arguably one of the most important items in the game. Beautiful. So, okay, brand new area. Not seen anything like this before. And uh, we're going to need a cog. Insert cog into machine. Just also keep an eye out for blue medallion and... Just the windmill. Making windmill noises are not a problem. Straight out, please, onto the balcony. This has me drop down into a treasure area. Beautiful. Right. Go grab myself what I believe was a... Yeah, like a beer thing in the original. Come on, still be a weird beer thing for no well-explained reason. And... Okay, this game's gone bloody classy. I feel that we've got a... This is not what I was expecting to happen, but okay, we've we've got a mysterious cowman. Very mysterious cowman who's taking a lot of shots to the head, actually. Just a few more and... Uh-oh. Oh, this is... This is no good at all. Don't mind me. Don't mind... No. Evade! There was an evade button, but I, I think I was reloading at the time. Just, just, Leon. Leon, just, just get on with this, please. No. No. Okay, I think Cowman's dead, but I'd like to go upstairs. I think he might have brought friends. Right, th there was definitely no weird Cowman previously. That's... That's no. That's... No. No, 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 no. 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 Naff off. Naff off and kick. Down you go, please. Down you cock and go. And headshots for everyone. This is... Well, this is all very unexpected. No. 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 He's dead. Right, just wait for more of them too. Pop up. Lovely. You're probably dead too. This is all fine. This is all... John, you're very low health right now. You're sitting on so many eggs. Eat the damn eggs. Honestly, I would love to be a fly on the wall during the planning of uh, this remake. Like, who was it that sat down the meeting and said, you know what Resident Evil 4 needed? Cow people. There weren't enough cow people. Okay, bare minimum, we are swimming in a health item. So, uh, even if I get attacked, we should be... In pretty damn good shape. So just crack open all of this. You get some more money. You should presumably get me straight back to the... John? You've not found the last, uh, yes, medallion yet. Just have a poke around the new area. You might have got a new vantage point that shows it to you. Nothing yet, but... It could be just beyond this area. I don't know. Anyway, shove in the cog. Get the gate open. That might, you know, spawn some more enemies. Just in case it does, let's take them out first. Or... Alright, sounds like we're good for now. Lovely. I mean, I'm absolutely convinced there should be one on one of the windmill blades. But I am not seeing it. Oh, but hang on. On the small windmill over here... Okay, I just kind of, right, slightly ruined that treasure there. And the fun thing is, that's actually a puzzle that, well, okay, wasn't there in the original. That puzzle was over by the well over here in the original. I just sort of forgot about it and then failed to notice the dirty well. So I was supposed to break that on this side so it ended up nice and clean. So okay, just slightly ruined a pearl pendant there. There's the bastard right, just next to, uh, yes, the lovely area where I just ruined the pearl pendant. It was right cocky there the whole time, just hidden in the rafters. Lovely. Okay, in which case, onwards and flipping, possibly upwards, possibly downwards. I'm not actually sure, though. Oh, John. Actually, I think it might be downwards. If what we're about to do is what I think we're about to do, yes, very much downwards. 
Oh yes, we're going into a suspiciously long straight path going in this direction. I think I know precisely what that means, because uh, Resident Evil 4, the original, came out right at the start of the big Dharma quick time event era. It wasn't a great era. We've kind of moved on from it now. But um, yes, occasionally in Resident Evil 4, you would just have to run away from a thing, and you would do it by hammering buttons as fast as you could. And if I'm right, then in just a... A bloody out! Okay, well, something's going on. Not precisely what I was expecting there, but kind of. And right, well, this is... Well, it's not a giant boulder. That's certainly true. I'll give it that to bare minimum. You also just, you just toss yourself off a cliff. Well done, bud. I just... Well, you've exploded. That's nice. That was a nice easy head pop. Possibly you wounded yourself by tossing yourself off a cliff. Right, the boulder appears to be gone. Honestly, the boulder was, you know, kind of dumb and stupid. Admittedly, lots of Resident Evil 4 is dumb and stupid, but especially dumb and stupid. Right, loop around all of this. Be ready to tap B2. No, no, no. Bloody hell, just... Okay, you know what? Don't let them get behind me. Run it to the end, and yes, we can hold them in the tunnel. Okay, the boulder is officially gone. I can't say I'm too upset by this. That's that's actually fine, to be honest. And just boot you. Stab it, you are nice and dead. Lovely. You had a ruby on you and everything, Larty Flippin' Da. Now, are you guys coming down, or are you just staying? Oh, you guys are just staying there. Okay, fine. Well, you know what? Screw you, then. I'm just moving straight on up now. Okay. I suspect we're not going to be able to do much in terms of stealth around here either. So, I mean, that guy's right there looking out for me. Like, I feel like he's going to see me coming. Yep, yeah, the music has already started. Is he about to light some dynamite by any chance? Because if you are, if you'd like to do that. No, no, no. I'd like you to explode now. Just keep holding that dynamite. Just keep on holding it. There we go. No, don't, don't throw it. There we go. Honestly, I could have just killed him with headshots, like, before that dynamite went off. But screw it. No, you don't. No, you flipping don't, buddy. No, you flipping don't. One more headshot for you. And... Well, you know what? I very literally walked into that one. Fair enough, buddy. And no. No. Ow! Stop it. Stop it. Okay, you're dead. You've exploded. Great. Who else is around, by the way? See someone else coming in. Watch out for... I'm pretty sure you just walked into a mine. The mines are being detonated by them, which is great. No, 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 still no. Just stop doing weird poses. It's weird. There you go, buddy. We've got plenty of handgun ammo. I say plenty of handgun ammo. We've not got that much handgun ammo. And no. Wait. Kick. And stab, stab, stab. Leon's got very fast at the old stabbing these days. Like, I swear he didn't use to stab this fast. It's very nice he's kind of been working on his knife technique. And I'm hearing more beeping. I think that was me getting clear. Oh, you just definitely are about to explode. Yeah. Someone just blew themselves up. Good job. There you are. No. Oh, dear. I feel like that's about to land nearby to me. No. Don't mind me. Right, well, we've got a bead on you now. Now you're going to be, and I say you're going to be in trouble. You've kind of got a really good defensive perimeter up there. Like, I can barely cocking see ya. And no. No, 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 no. Please explode. Keep exploding. Just any time you're cocking ready. Problem solved. Lovely. What I have just realised, though, which is really interesting, is, uh, yeah, the bear traps. They don't actually damage your health like at all it's just not a thing all they do is uh, slow you down so uh, okay fascinating leon just does not mind having his leg caught just you know stroll into this one yeah i mean he's pretending it hurts but just uh crack that back open again then check my health still full lovely Though, yeah, this area is uh, way more complicated. Just uh, quickly make sure we get all these out of the way because they don't hurt. So, honestly, yeah, the most efficient way to deal with them is just, you know, stick your own leg in them. There are way more doors dotted about. Once again, an insignia lock right here that goes to uh, some type of treasure I can't get to just yet. Right, in which case, time to start try, try, trying again on the padlock and in we go. To the big cheeser's house, because, oh yeah, 
It's time to meet the best yet also most kind of confusing character in the game. Lewis! I love Lewis. But yes, precisely what... Oh. Locked. Right. Can't do anything with that. Just down and... Never mind. Not down, but also tap A. Situation resolved. Uh, on we go. I'd say watch out for bear traps, but honestly, apparently you don't need to. Apparently, yes, best way to disarm them is just stick your foot in them. Then they're not there later when there might be more trouble going on. So just uh, keep on keeping on. And hello there. I do not remember that showing up originally, but sure. We've got you dotted about here. Now myself to a few bits and pieces. And uh, just a second. What's that noise? This is a very badly hidden secret room. I swear it was not this badly hidden in the original. Oh, hang on. What the cock? Okay, well now you're just messing with me, game. That's... That's not what's supposed to be here. Okay, well, okay, I've just been messed with. I'm being aggressively messed with at the moment. And you know I'm a hit. No, 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 no. Headshot for you. Into kick. Into stab, 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 stab. He's so good at stabbing now. It's lovely. Okay. Lewis is no longer located in a cupboard. He's located in probably a creepy dark basement instead. First house in the game. Creepy dark murder basement. Right here. Lewis is supposed to be in a cupboard. Right here. We could say hi, Tim. It's really lovely. Oh, but instead we're in the creepy murder basement. Right. Okay, so that's two on the creepy murder basement editions. Uh, I mean, you know, they were very creepy in Biohazard, so fair enough. Just... That may or may not be Lewis. And... It is, because I'm not allowed to shoot it. Right, Lewis, you are much creepier than you used to be, but I'm sure it's all absolutely fine. That hurts, you know? It seemed like you really wanted to talk. How observant, senor. Now, uh, say, uh, you got a smoke? You know, those things will kill you. Oh, well, maybe just untie me then, huh? Not this guy! Who are you? Okay, stop right there! I do enjoy how much Leon just gets his ass handed to him at the very end of chapter one. It's lovely. Oh, what the fuck? Hey, stop it. Hey, Yankee. Got a name? Leon. Quiet type, eh? I'm Luis Serra. Guess you, me. Big the wrong spot to vacation, eh? Hey, stop it. You move, I move. And I'm beat up in office cities. I can see you're thinking. Bet you've been in spots like this before, huh? I guess. You're here looking for someone. <clears throat> One more guess. Maybe some missing senorita? Young girl. Talk. Now. All right. See, her chatter about moving a senorita. Moving her. Where? Who knows? But later, saw some men dragging someone <laughs> to the old church. <laughs> ah, hanging with you, not healthy. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done here! Later, amigo. Shit, I took my gear.
Okay, I'm down to nothing. I really hope it's just outside, otherwise this is going to be very embarrassing. Condor one to roost. I've located Baby Eagle. It sounds like she's being kept in some church. Great. That's good news. I heard it from this guy I met. Said his name is Luis Serra. There's something fishy about him. I need you to run a background check. We'll call Condor One. I'll see what I can find. In the meantime, make your way to that church. Right. I'm probably due for confession anyway. Condor One, out. Oh my goodness, they've even added additional cheesy dumb one-liners that weren't in the original, but... Okay, now this is just crucial. The moment we step out this door in just a second... It is very, very important to me that someone very special is about to be introduced into the game. Oh, I'm in a sewer! Oh, this is not where I expected to be. I was expecting to be, you know, going out onto a bigger, mysteriously windy open valley, but, um... Okay, we're just sort of... Floating around, apparently. One kitchen knife and dear, oh flipping dear. Right, the game's going to teach me how to knife because it's taken all the rest of my stuff. Okay, crack open the door. If we're lucky, we can get a sneak attack. That's, you know, one of the key things about a knife. Just get behind you. Yep, don't worry, game. I'm one step ahead of you. Already figured that much out. There you go, buddy. Right, so we've got a little bit of a, uh, yes, lovely introduction to sneaking, stabbing and whatnot. Was not expecting this. Lovely. Including a parry, which if you get your timing right is... Okay, gotcha. Okay, just prepare. And go. That did not go well. I'm going to be honest, it didn't go... I'm just going to stab him. I feel like I'm just... I just want to stab him, actually. There we go. That worked just fine, too. And there we go. I've got my stuff back. Beautiful. Oh, and there he is. There's the flipping man. Oh, you magnificent, sexy bastards. Over here, stranger. Who's that? Let's do some business then, eh? Okay, before we get into anything, though, uh, yes. What we've got here is uh, treasures we need to make sure we understand correctly. Now, I do have uh, a blue and a red. The question is, however, yes, is it worth more to go for double red or red and blue? Double red is worth more, but if I do that, that means there's less red available for other things down the oh bloody hell. So yeah, this thing is now as valuable as it gets, because when you've only got two slots, yeah, a double is as good as it's going to be. The red in theory could do me more good, yes, as part of a double red, double green on the necklace, but I don't know I'm going to get another green, so it's probably not worth the trouble. Okay, so sell what I've got to sell, and uh, yes, I'm now up to 30 grand, so I can just buy, and uh, this is no. Bolt thrower, not just new to this shop, new to this game. So, right, the game is really leaning on the whole sneaky thing. This is immobilizing enemies, uh, and the bolts are reusable, which is uh, pretty sexy. But I feel like, yes, the stealth is going to not last that long. Then you're better off with uh, just a gun. So, uh, ooh, buy this and get a scope for free. I mean, I won't say no to that, and also I won't say no to... Yes, basically, if a case upgrade shows up, you buy it, okay? Some things never cook and change. So, yeah, take that too. I'll definitely be having the rifle. Meanwhile, he'll also, yes, repair my knife. So, you know what? The sneak attacks just for instant kills. Uh, you can take out three or four enemies that way. Go on, why not? Then we can spend money on, yeah, improving weapons. That's a bit on the expensive side. There is selling. But on top of that, there is uh, trade. So yeah, the pink gems are now not just for selling, they're a special unique There's currency. And I kind of but noticed that, uh, yes, there is a, a yellow diamond up for grabs. But that wouldn't help me with, yeah, selling this thing straight away because yellow is round. Okay, ideally it needs to be purple. In fact, yeah, it kind of, ooh, I didn't consider that actually. Right, so the yellow might be useful. Look, I'm buying a yellow herb because they're basically the best things in the game. Lovely. And on top of that, I'm having the yellow diamond because that is going to pay for itself like so many times over. And after much agonizing, yeah, 
I think I'm okay with this, because, okay, I would like this ammo to be here, but then it's not orientated the same as the other ammo, whereas uh, if it's over here, it kind of feels okay that the orientation is different, because, uh, then again, this should definitely be, that should be closer. So, yes, that's a bit better, I'm still not happy with it. Oh, Res was briefcase system, it is both a blessing and a curse. So, okay, that's the end of chapter one, and uh, I'm confused. I freely throw my hands up in the air and say, I'm confused. I do not know what to make of this. Like, in some ways, I really admire how much it's willing to commit to Leon being a big, dumb, quippy bastard. That's delightful. The stealth feels like a decent addition. It's not breaking anything. It's just, you know, a nice way for adding some tactical variety. I don't mind any of that. And there's other good things too, the guns still feel nice and chunky, the combat feels a tiny bit familiar, like something in the back of my mind is telling me things feel a tiny bit off, but then that's probably just because I'm comparing it to the original Resident Evil 4, which I can't really blame myself for, because it is the Resident Evil 4 remake, obviously that's gonna happen, but it also isn't fair to this game, so... Okay, I need a bit more time to figure out what I think about this. So next week, this is back, okay? One form or another, we are continuing this, because I need to dive into it a bit deeper to figure out what I really think about it. So, join me next week as we crack on a bit further into the game. Hopefully, you are looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Resident Evil 4. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Wait, wait, and flamethrower! 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 Okay, so this is... This is definitely morally questionable. The point where you start singing the flamethrower song, potentially, you've gone over the line.